Hello everybody, today what we have to unbox and set up is the new for 2022 Spirit Halloween, Monty the Monkey. This prop is actually one of my favorite Spirit has to offer this year along with Bog Zombie. So I ordered it right away. I absolutely love this guy. I didn't want to take the chance at missing out on it. So here we go. See the box is damaged, so I'm hoping that the prop itself is okay. There is the top of the box. So let me get this box pulled out of the shipping box and we'll see what all the box has to show. <laughs> so here is Monty with his box all beat up. Looks like he's trying to escape already. So here is Monty, arms clash, symbols together, light up LED eyes and moving mouth, stands six feet tall. Monty, light up LED eyes, moving mouth, arms crash, symbols together. Back there is his story and his price, which I think is worth it with a coupon. I think 300 is a little pushing it, but I have seen that he's large, so maybe his size is gonna make up for it. Pretty much the same thing over there. So let's go ahead and get this box opened and put him together. So here we go. There's instructions. All kinds of pieces right on the top of the box. Instructions. There is an arm, shoulders, another arm. This is what I presume to be his symbol clashing mechanism. His clothes along with the cover for the box. There is a, what I presume is a leg pole a foot, another foot, his control box, and then there's his symbols with the hands, the adapter, the base, and his head. So let's go ahead and get all the parts laid out and see what all he has. Here are all of Monty's parts laid out. You have the head, the box he stands on, the arm mechanism, the adapter, two symbols left and right with hands attached, shoulder frame, two arms left and right, two feet left and right, two leg poles, one marked C and one marked B, the control box with the sensor wire to it, the instructions, the waist bracket, the bag of fabric with the pants, shirt, and the fabric that goes around the box he stands on. So now let's get to the setup. The first thing that you will want to do is line up the fabric base onto the metal base and make sure to line up the holes that are already cut into the fabric with the pole connectors. Then afterwards, your next step is to attach the leg poles. When attaching the leg poles, make sure C is in the front and B is in the back. Afterwards, you can put on the monkey's feet, making sure to match up the left and right feet. And then you put the pants and control box on. After putting on the pants and control box, you're going to want to put on the waist bracket and then the arm clashing mechanism. One quick thing that I completely forgot to mention is that you have two parts labeled Q that are going to go onto the leg poles to help fill out his legs. The next thing that you're going to want to do is attach the shoulder frame and then afterwards put on Monty's fur and vest, which the fur and vest are one piece. And afterwards, you're going to want to uh, Velcro the sensor to the hole that is right there in his chest and then attach the arms. After attaching Monty's shirt, arms, and sensor, you're going to want to come into the back of the costume and attach the wires coming from the symbol mechanism and the control box to ensure that the symbol mechanism does get power to the arms. Now you're going to want to attach Monty's head and then attach the wires coming from the head to the color-coded wires coming from the control box to ensure that his eyes and mouth get power. After attaching the Velcro on the back of Monty's costume, I went ahead and plugged the adapter into the control box already, but your last step is going to be attaching the hands. After the hands are attached, you have successfully set up Monty and you can go ahead and plug the adapter into any standard wall outlet. Here is Monty fully set up, and holy crap, this guy is gigantic. I could not believe 
the size of this thing's head alone. And I have to say, I definitely understand the $300 price tag for the size of this guy. It is a very unique prop and I absolutely adore it. I would definitely say if you do decide to grab him, go ahead and grab him with that 20% off coupon, knock you off 60 bucks. So yeah, I'll go ahead and activate him one more time. I would have to say that my only complaint is that the volume is not very loud. This is max volume. But he does have an external speaker port which we will likely end up using. Super, super cool prop. I absolutely love all the detailing put into the face, the costume, and his fur feels very, very high quality. The pants are your average animatronic pants. The feet are molded, detailed plastic, and the base is metal, welded metal, and then the actual box cover seems to be a pretty thick, sturdy fabric. So overall, I definitely recommend this guy. He is phenomenal. The only thing I would have done better is I feel like I would have made the symbols a little bit better, but they get the job done. His fur is covering the sensor from the looks of it, so you have to get kind of close to him. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe.